guys, it's Lynn again with Little Fin Nursery. I am here with reborn baby Clara, and um, she is wearing a really, really cute romper by Mayoral. Um, I really like this brand. I'm, I don't know, you guys, some of you may know or not know, but I'm a really big fan of like just French culture, and I'm a little bit of a Francophile. <laughs> I'm just kind of obsessed with all things French. Um, and I took French in high school. I've visited France a couple of times, um, although there's so many European countries I've not been to, but I just really love France. Have not been since I had kids, but um, definitely want to go again when they're older. But um, anyway, I just think, um, I don't know, French things are just so elegant and so chic. And anyway, she's wearing, Mayoral's a French brand, sorry. That's why I kind of started to ramble about that. But um, I want to go ahead and change her into this um uh it's it's also it's by magnolia baby it's a newborn size romper it's actually a gender neutral sort of romper but um you know it, but it can definitely be for a boy so it'll be kind of interesting to see you know whether that sort of changes um you know what she looks like but yeah i am kind of curious um if any of you guys have ever and and, I, and clara to me is a girl and so i'm not um this isn't something that's on my radar with respect to her, but have any of you guys successfully, you know, kind of like maybe when you adopted the baby, you, um, you know, you kind of thought like it would be a girl or a boy, but then as time went on, you, you know, weren't bonding with the baby in that gender. And so you decide to change the gender to something different. Um, and this obviously only works for a cloth body baby. If it's a full body silicone, <laughs> um, you know, you know, the, the parts are already determined, you know, basically determine what the gender is. But, um, but yeah, I mean, have you guys ever done that? Like, I'm just kind of curious if any of you guys have had that experience and whether you, you know, you were able to successfully bond with the baby after kind of doing a gender change. I know a lot of artists have done that where maybe they photograph the baby with a certain gender and in a certain type of clothing. And then maybe that doll wasn't selling for some reason. And then when they changed the gender, they were able to successfully, you know, get a sale because that gender just suited the way that baby was painted or maybe that particular sculpt a little bit better. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of curious, um, you know, what you guys' experiences with that. And, um, and I, and I think for me, I haven't been able to personally do that successfully. Um, if you guys look at some of my older videos, I had a silicone baby, Olive, by Sandy Faber. Adorable baby, and um, I brought, and she was designed as a girl by Sandy Faber. She's a cloth body silicone, and I named her Millie. And, um, but you know, somehow, like, Millie and I just never, like, really bonded. Oh my gosh, she's so cute, I love Clara. By the way, Clara is the Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and her artist is Melissa George. So, she's so cute. Um, <laughs> so, like, um, anyway. <laughs> um, uh, so, what I was going to say. So, anyway, when I brought um, Millie home, and, and, I, and I thought, just objectively speaking, she's just adorable. Like, a smiling uh, silicone baby, really cute. But then, for whatever reason, I just really wasn't bonding. And so, I did try for a little bit of time to change her into a boy. But then I got really like, uh, but I had a hard time because I had a hard time deciding what the name would be. Um, and then uh, I tried her as a boy and I thought she looked really cute as a boy too, but then it just didn't work for me. So then I tried switching her back and then eventually I just sold her. It just, I just wasn't bonding. I tried changing the gender and that did not work for me. Um, but I do I feel like I hear of instances from other people where, you know, they're able to kind of decide to do a gender switch for the, for the doll and it does totally work and you do end up really bonding with that doll after the change and feeling like, oh, okay, this doll was always meant to be this particular gender and like that's really, really cool. Um, and and then it just changes your entire experience with that baby. So I would love to hear if you have been able to do that successfully. Like I personally have not. And then looking around my nursery, I don't think there are any dolls that I am struggling with that um, about. Like I think they're all pretty, you know, a girl, pretty much a girl or a boy. I have mostly um, girls, as you guys know, in my nursery. Um, but yeah, I don't have any dolls that kind of are, you know, fitting that definition. But um 
but yeah, no, it's uh, but it's an interesting thought. And um, anyway, and looking at Clara, for example, I feel like like the Levi is is actually a boy sculpt. I think though the way Clara is painted, she just has a very like soft complexion, and I think she really does look like a girl. Um, the way that Melissa painted her, so. Um, and by the way, a lot of you guys have asked me about how to get a doll by Melissa. Like, you know, I, I did mine, um, with her as custom orders. I don't know if she's doing customs right now, but you would just need to find her on Facebook. She does all, she is also on Patreon. So if you are a Patreon member, um, you can also message her that way. But, um, you know, I, I don't, uh, I don't like to give out the artist's, uh, personal email addresses unless I have their permission. So I would just encourage you to kind of just find them on Facebook and, um, and through other public means if you can. So, um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> that is, that is it with, um, with Clara. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. What a cutie pie. All right, guys. Well, I, that's all I want a short video for today, but, um, you know, I will see you guys next time and I hope you have a great day and Clara's going to say bye.